All right. So. With that said, um, those are the rules for <coughs> Lewis dots for atoms. We very rarely use them. Most of the time when we're doing Lewis dots, we're looking at compounds, not single elements. So, yep. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Escape hatch. Escape hatch. <laughs> So in case I'm ever in trouble, the pen can sell each other. I'm with you. Don't cry. Don't cry for the first time. That's what you're laughing at. Rules for Lewis Dots for ionic bonds. Well, it'd probably be helpful, uh, Allie, if we knew what ionic meant. Ionic is when um, ionic bond is when one atom steals electrons from another atom. Covalent is when one atom shares electrons with another atom. So ionic is stealing, covalent is sharing. Um, they mutually, uh, the electrons spend, instead of just orbiting around one atom, the electrons will spend their time around both atoms. And both atoms are okay with this? They're okay with it, yep. Sharing is caring. But we're right now looking at the rules for ionic. So let's take the quintessential ionic uh, compound, sodium chloride. Sodium has one dot. How do I know it has one dot? Because it's in the first major group, group 1A. Group 1A, one valence. Group 2A, two valence. Group 3A, three valence. 4A, four valence. 5, five valence. 6, six valence. 7. So that's why we are concerned with looking at the major groups because we know how many valence electrons they have. Group 9A. There is no group 9A. Why is it like switched? Group 8A. Why is it switched group like 8A. A and B? Uh, it depends on, um, the, there are different labeling systems for different uh, parts of the world. Some, I think the better way is to call these first two and these last six the 1A, or the, the A groups. Um, but other, like the army, just goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18 across. Okay? Uh, the army is the master of the KISS principle. You've heard of the KISS principle, right? No. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, so they just number 1 through 18. They don't mess around with 1A, 2A. They just number 1 to 18. Keep it simple. So, um, chlorine is in group 7A. Seven valence electrons. I'm going to use X's just to help us to distinguish them. The electronegativity of sodium is 1.01. How do I know that, Alexa? Good question. I went through appendix O. And you memorized it, okay? Chlorine is 2.83. We take the absolute value of the difference. The difference comes out to be 1.82. If 
the difference is greater than or equal to 1.7, you are ionic. If you are less than 1.7, you are covalent. So is that still less than or equal to or just less than? Greater than or equal to is ionic, less than 1.7 is covalent. So if it's 1.7, it would be ionic? Correct. Now, not everybody agrees on this numbering. I've heard like 1.4, but we're going to go with what the book designates, and the book designates 1.7. So, Pat, is this bond going to be ionic or covalent? Ionic. It's going to be ionic. So what does that mean? Stealing. The chlorine is the stronger one. The chlorine will steal the electron from sodium. So I'm supposed to erase the sodium. Yep. Now, sodium lost an electron there, Ryan. So what's the charge on sodium? Plus one. Plus one. We put brackets and the charge. How many electrons did chlorine gain? One. one. That's supposed to be a one plus. Yeah. So what's the charge on chlorine? Negative one. So you'd think sodium would be upset with chlorine because chlorine stole its electron. But actually, the two bond together. Why? Sodium is now positive and chlorine is now negative. So they stick together like Velcro because one's got a positive charge, one's got a negative charge, and so they stick. That is an ionic bond, when opposite charged substances stick together. Okay? That's different than covalent, um, as we'll learn about in just a second. Um, do you have any questions so far? In that case, Logan, it is now time in the course of the whole year that you can be told the love story of sodium and chlorine. Put to music. So we will um, pause for a word from our sponsors.